Yo, what it do, what it do, we back like we never left. So what's up, man? How's everybody doing, man? Hope everybody doing good. I'm definitely doing good. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Like always, my subscribers, new ones, old ones, day ones. I see all y'all, man. You see, I be trying to um, reply to everybody. So, you know, I respect and I really love all y'all, man. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So, boom. This joint takes place um, on Riverdale, in a bar on Riverdale Avenue, right by 288, the famous 288, if you know, you know. So, um, it's me, my bro, Little Los, which I already, um, you know, I already brought him up before, and um, this new character that we're going to call T. So, we at the bar, we chilling, doing what we do. It's three of us, you know, we having a good time, we having drinks, we having laughs, we just chilling. So, T gets up and says, yo, I'm gonna go smoke a bogey, a cigarette, I'll be right back. So, we like, all right, cool. So, we keep drinking, me and Little Lowe's keep drinking, chilling. But, we notice, you know, it's taking a little long for T to come back. So if it's just a cigarette, he should have been back. You know what I mean? So as we saying this, the doorman from the bar comes running towards us, to the bar. And he like, yo, they got your man hemmed up outside. Some dude got him hemmed up. So we like, what? We run outside. So as soon as we step out the bar, you look, we look to our left because the bar got like this little ramp joint. So, and then there's a railing right here. So... On the other side of the railing to the left, that's where they had T hemmed up at. His back on the wall. One, the biggest dude is right in his grill, like grilling him, like about to do it to him. And then there's three other dudes behind him. So T can't go nowhere. They got him hemmed up. You know what I mean? They got him hemmed up, looking crazy. What I saw, it, it should look, it looked crazy because, you know, T wasn't really trying to like, um, like get up out of that situation at all you know wasn't even saying anything like so it looked real bad you know what i'm saying um because t um t wasn't wasn't never really about like about that that um you know he never really defended himself well and shit like that since we was young so we already knew you know what time it was with t or whatever but that was our man you know what i'm saying so we're gonna defend our man no matter what so um, so we come out, we hot, you know what I'm saying? Cause we, we see our man all hemmed up, shit looked crazy, yo. So when we come out, we automatically like, yo, what the fuck going on? Yo, what the fuck? So while we doing this, they, of course, all of them, they, all their attention went to us now. So they all turned their heads and looked up at us. So when they, when they looked, that's when T was able to like slither up out of there and come like to where we was at. By this time... We by the, almost by where the cars is parked at, facing the bar now. So we looking at them. They're, they're still close to the bar. Now we facing the bar. So we like, yo, T, what the fuck, son? What the fuck? You know, we don't know what's going on. So we try and get to the bottom of it. So we yelling. They yelling. But they not, I'm not saying they was pussy or nothing. They wasn't backing down. They was just talking mad shit. They was talking spicy, actually. So T like, yo, I, was, I, said, well, I said something to Shorty. And it turns out that... Shorty, he talking about the nigga that's talking mad shit. That's his girl. So he hot over a girl. You know what I'm saying? So um, we not caring what it's really over because the way they had him hemmed up and shit, that shit was wild. So we wasn't going to just let it rock like that. This is our block. You know what I'm saying? So us not doing nothing. Come on. That shit would have looked crazy. So, so we hot. We arguing with these dudes. We going back and forth. But these niggas is... They they really talking shit. They like, man, the, the big dude, he like, yo, I'll fight any one of y'all niggas, man. I don't give a fuck. This and this and that. So he talking hot. So he's not knowing that me and Little Los, we've been, we basically grew up together from super young. I lived in his house when when I got when I got kicked out of my mom's house. And it's a long story. I'ma tell that story though. 
because it's it is a good story to tell. But um, we've been through this situation many times before this, me and Los. So we don't really got to talk too much to to be able to communicate and know what I'm thinking, what he thinking. You feel me? So I'm already knowing. We fighting, you know what I'm saying? We fighting. We not. We ain't about to do all this talking shit. In a few more seconds, it's about to go down. So, um, so I'm knowing. I'm seeing Los inching up closer to the big mouth dude. So I know I. Right, that's the dude that Los is is gonna hit first. You know what I'm saying? So I get my eye on on one dude. It's a short type chubby dude. So I'm like, fuck it. I guess I'm gonna hit this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's going quick. What, what I'm telling y'all, of course, it's happening all quick. But, you know, you, you, when you're telling the story, you got you to gotta stretch it out. So um, so once we, we just trying to get close enough to where we could reach out and touch somebody. You know what I'm saying? Reach out and shake somebody's hand, you know? Close enough to do that. So, um, so we there. You know what I'm saying? We close enough. We there. So Lowe's looks at me. He give me that little, you know, like it's about to go down. So I'm already knowing, all right, so I'm ready. So um, sure enough, he gave me the look. I already know once that look happens, it's like a three second countdown and we swinging on everything. So um, so the look happens, you know, real quick, I'm counting three, two, one. We start swinging, right? So Los catch the dude, drops him. The dude is cold, he out cold, the, the big dude. He knocks him out cold. So I catch the, the short chubby dude. I back him into the fence because the um the bars right here, right next door is a store, but the gates was up. It's mad late. It's like probably one in the morning, some shit like that, 12, 1 o'clock. So when I catch him, he backs into the um backs into the gate. Bang! So I just follow up. Ming, ming. So I'm catching him. He's just like blocking and shit. He ain't really trying to fight. So I'm just going crazy on this dude. Los is fighting the other two dudes. I see Los going nuts, but you know, Los, Los is Los is a fighter. You know what I'm saying? So Los is wilding out on the other two dudes. The other dude is on the floor. His girl is attending to him. I'm seeing all this while I'm while I'm scrapping. So, cause I'm really the dude ain't really trying to fight back. The dude is just trying to you know get up out of there. So I'm just catching him. Man, man. He, I see the dude, the nigga I'm hitting. He just trying to get away. I got him backed up to the fence. He just trying to find a way to, you know what I mean? He like, like this, and he just trying to get away. So as he trying to get away, I'm catching him, man. So he keep backing up to the joint. So eventually, he duck under and start running. So he starts running towards um, Riverdale and Ludlow by St. Peter's Church. So I take off behind him. Los is still scrapping. I'm not really, at this point, not really knowing what Los is doing because I'm focused on this dude now, but I'm on his heels. Instead of grabbing him, I can't really grab the nigga. I just kick his foot as he's running. I kick his foot. So he go flying. He he halfway under an SUV and halfway out. All you can see really is like his feet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So not his feet, but like from here down. You know what I'm saying? And the other part is like under a tire. So I'm stomping on this dude and shit. So as I'm doing this, and and you you know the dude is like, yo, chill, yo. you know he he on the floor. Next thing you know, I just feel like a man, like a, like a, my ear just start ringing, like, bee, and I feel like a sting. So the shit catch me. I'm like, oh, shit. So I turn around, and it's the nigga that Lowe's knocked out. He must have fucking shook it off, and he got his shit back. So when I turn around, he got a belt in his hand, just swinging. So obviously, he caught me with the belt buckle on the side of my shit. That shit was hurting, but at the time, I'm not giving a fuck, but I know he caught me nice. I'm, I'm like, damn, I got to be bleeding, but, you know, at the time, what the fuck you going to do? So he keeps swinging his belt. He keeps catching me with the belt, but I'm trying to, like, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, so he catching me in my arms and shit, caught me in the head a couple of times. He just coming. He just wailing with this shit. So the dude ends up getting up off the floor. He start running. So he running down No Street. As he running... I'm not, I don't see this happen, but the, um, the bouncer passes my, my man Los a knife, right? So that was the worst thing he could have done because Los is, was always like a, a knife happy person, you know what I'm saying? So he passed him the knife. 
Los come running towards me. He coming because Los see this nigga hit me with this belt, you know what I mean? So I'm sure he like, yo, I got to go get my little brother. So he come running from the bar to the corner where I'm at. And he just catches the dude. I'm thinking he snuffed him, right? But he didn't snuff him. He stabs the nigga in his face because he caught him right in his face. Caught him like right here. So I don't, I don't even notice that he stabbed him. I'm thinking he snuffed him. So I'm like, yes, you know what I'm saying? But then a few seconds later, you see the nigga just gushing. So he grabbing his shit like, oh, shit. So once he, once he stabbed him, I see the blood. I look at Los. I look at his hand. I see the knife. So I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? This shit just got crazy. So they take off. We, we fake chasing them. You know what I'm saying? But we stopped by like St. Peter's. They kept going towards No Street. They get to No Street. They turn around. They popping shit like they going to come back. But they stu- at this point, they just stunting. You know what I'm saying? They don't want no more. So we like, whatever. We go this way. So they end up. They, over, they still by No Street talking mad shit. But they not coming where we at. So um, so then I, I noticed T. T pops up. T, T says he was, he was scrapping and shit. And he was, did this and this, that. But I didn't even see none of it. I can't, I don't know if he did or he didn't, but I didn't see it. You know what I'm saying? So we like, all right, whatever. You know, yeah, you did all that. All right, cool. So the, um, there's some chicks that was in the bar. They wasn't with us, but they was in the bar. So they must have seen what was going down because everybody came outside. So they in the car. So thank God, they like, yo, come on, come on. They telling us to get in the car. So we all three just jump in the car. I think it was two chicks or I think it was three of them. So we jump in the car, we all squeeze in and shit, and they take off. So we go to the famous 24-hour gas station on Riverdale where everybody goes at night because they sell everything you need. They sell beers, they sell condoms, they sell whatever you need, 24 hours. So everybody from, especially from my side, everybody goes to this gas station. So um, so we go to the gas station, we jump out. So we, um, you know... Uh, trying to see what, like, if we bleeding, what happened. My shit was kind of twisted right here because of the belt buckle. I had a little knot right here. Because back then I had a bald head, too. I had a bald head since I was 16. So um, my shit leaking a little bit here. My shit fucked up right here. Los is looking at his shit. So um, so we like, damn, what are we going to do? So we, they, and I don't know whose idea it was. I don't remember. But somebody was like, yo, let's, let's dip to the telly with the chicks. So the chicks was with it. They was like, all right. So that's irrelevant, though. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother story. Um, but, we, but we did go to the telly. Whatever happened, happened. So like a week or two later, a girl got in touch with Little Los and told him that the dude almost lost his eye. The dude went into surgery and shit like that and almost lost his eye and shit. The shit was crazy. But she also told him that they didn't. he didn't want to... Um, that he just wanted to, to just dead it, you know what I'm saying? So the shit just ended right there. I never seen them again. We did find out where they was from. I ain't gonna say where they was from, but we did find out they was from across town. I'ma just say that much. They was from the other side. So not the north side, they was from the other side. So um so yeah, man. So even these even these war stories and shit like that, because I know I know y'all like war stories, you know what I'm saying? I know everybody likes to hear war stories. But they be lessons in, in these joints too, you know what I'm saying? Because easily that dude could have lost his life. We could have been locked up for murder, for manslaughter. We could have lost our lives. A lot of shit could have happened that night, you know, for really for nothing, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I like even the war stories I like to tell because there's a lesson in all of them, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, um, to the next one, man, stay tuned, stay liking, subscribing, commenting, I see everybody likes to comment. That's dope. That's super dope. Keep commenting. I'm going to keep responding. And we here, man. Till the next one. I love y'all. One.